I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So a few days or so ago, this air filtration system showed up on the front step and I am going to unbox it, show you some of the features, install it, and we're gonna give it a test drive. All right, let's get on with it. Alright, so we got the unit unboxed. In this case, I chose to get the Supermax air filtration system. It is very similar to the JET system that is on the market. They both have variable speed, three speeds, uh, remote control, a manual start and stop, as well as a timer mode, which is very handy. The only distinguishing factor between the JET and the Supermax here is the Supermax does have an indicator on the side for airflow, and that'll let you gauge how clogged the filter is. So as the uh, you know more particulates get filtered through the filter, obviously the airflow is going to reduce, and so that'll be an indicator of when you need to change your filter. Hi, Future Tom here. So as I was editing the video, I noticed that I was not terribly clear in a couple areas explaining what was going on and what I was doing. So let me break it down for you. As I was doing the unboxing, I turned the unit on what I thought was the top. The sticker on the outside was facing down as if that was the top. And then I opened the bottom, what I thought was the bottom and all the hardware and all the materials, manuals or whatnot was on the bottom. So that was interesting. Uh, now there was absolutely no indication on the box what was top and what was bottom aside from the sticker that was on the outside, which again, I thought was facing downward. So I was opening the bottom, but I was not. No big deal, it's just very interesting. Uh, next point. The unit out of the box had what I would characterize as a fair amount of damage. There were a number of screws that were scratched near the edge. There was a part where the filter attaches. It was actually bent. It was pushed into the styrofoam so far that there was actually styrofoam stuck into the unit. Is this a big deal? I don't know. In hindsight, it doesn't seem like it affects the unit's operation, but I will say for a unit that is brand new, straight out of the box, straight from the manufacturer, having any scratches, any dings, any damage whatsoever is relatively unacceptable. Couple that with the fact that the remote that came with the unit, the sticker was completely cockeyed on it. Um, it was off by you know almost an entire inch just represents a dramatic lack of quality control very unacceptable in my opinion and very disappointing for supermax i view them as a quality company i have other products from them it's just very disappointing that something that costs above three hundred dollars is has such terrible quality control now is this a one-off instance I don't know, but uh, this is a relatively new unit on the market for them, as near as I can tell. I chose to go with them because they have the air gauge that shows whether or not the the volume of the air going through the system is decreased or not, which tells you whether or not the filter is becoming clogged. Uh, so I thought it was a value add. It was a differentiator, something that, uh, that the jet unit didn't have. And uh, in fact, none of the other units that I looked at online had. So... I just think it's interesting. I think they could have done better in this case. Again, I don't know if it's a one-off or not, so I might contact the company. Who knows? We'll see if there's any luck out there. Maybe they'll see this video. So future Tom breaking in, giving you additional input on the video after the fact. So this is the airflow gauge that I mentioned earlier. Uh, it's got a little kind of bar in the fan area that the air wishes past and causes this to move based on the volume of airflow. Generally when it was on brand new out of the box it was in this uh, kind of what I call light green area or medium green area. I suspect as I get more and more uh, dust it'll start to uh, you know, decrease as one would expect and that signals replacing the filter. So I suppose this is a danger of buying things online. I uh, did online pickup from Lowe's to avoid human contact. <laughs> 
And uh, this is what I ended up with. They're about, I don't know, at least twice as big as I thought that they were or I need. But, um, well, we'll use them. Certainly guarantee it won't fall out of the ceiling anytime soon. Um, but it's <laughs> ridiculous. Okay, all right, let's, let's do this. All right, well, there it is. It is up in the ceiling, it is mounted. I ran the power cord across the conduit, plugged it in, did a little zip tie action on that to hold it into place. Should be good to go. So far, pretty impressed with it. Uh, other than the basic built construction quality where there are some issues with the dents and the dings, it, uh, it seems to be working very well. So when I tested the remote, when it was on the desk here, or on the bench top, it didn't uh, work. Properly, uh, I had to point it directly at the sensor and so far the sensor is facing the away uh, Towards the garage doors and it seems to be working just fine. So what I'd like to do right now is just turn it on I'm gonna again pull up the DB Meter and see how loud it is here and then kind of walk to where the camera is see how loud it is there and then walk around the garage and see what the average is for the low setting which is probably what I will set it at while I'm working. So let's go ahead and spin this thing up. So right now we're at uh, 48 dB ambient noise, probably because the refrigerator's on. Okay, so right here we're at 61.2 average dBA. Okay, so with the DB sensor here next to the workbench, I was averaging roughly around 60 dB. At the camera, I was averaging roughly around 61. Beside the unit, it was 62. And then in front of the garage doors, it was 63. So it's essentially going up by one dB as you get closer to the unit and then get on the other side of the unit where the fan is actually exhausting. That's on the low setting. I think that's more than acceptable. Quite honestly, as cars go by, and there's outside noise if someone's mowing the lawn or whatever, it's actually much louder in here than that. I've run uh, noise levels in this garage before and, and they've been in the 55 to uh, 58 range just kind of standing around with the ambient noise outside. So that's actually pretty acceptable. Now when you ratchet the fan up, it does get louder and so what I'll likely do is leave it on low as I'm working here in the garage as long as I'm not filming and uh, recording or at least recording something that needs the sound. Um, and then when I leave the garage, I'll probably put it on a timer for an hour or two on the medium or high setting, uh, circulate the air very rapidly. Now this is, if I remember properly, my garage is slightly over 400 square feet, 500 square feet, something like this. Uh, according to the manual, it can circulate a 600 foot space seven times in an hour uh, on the low setting, which is, I think, pretty decent. All right, so that is my initial unboxing installation of the Supermax air filter. So it's got some pretty cool features. It does have the remote like many of the others, but it does have the air velocity sensor or the air volume sensor on the side that tells you when your filter is getting clogged. So I think that might come in handy over time. Other than that, it's kind of similar to the other models on the internet today and on the uh, market space as it were today. It is a little bit more expensive than the Jet. I did get it on sale for $350. I did get uh, free shipping and because of where I ordered from, I didn't actually have to pay sales tax. So that was a bonus. 
And so if you factor all that in with the Jet today, which is currently on sale for $299, I would have to pay both shipping and sales tax, at least from my analysis. So it would be probably right around the same price, US dollars. So I'll keep you posted as things change, as I learn more about it, uh, such that there is things to learn. And if anything changes, I will definitely do a follow-up video and maybe if I need to talk about how quickly the filters get clogged or how frequently I need to clean them, we'll have that conversation too. Well, thank you for getting this far. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, ring that bell, very important these days. Follow me on Instagram, that's where I post a lot of pictures of these projects, which become videos. And don't forget to be inspired. because I like the idea of the air uh, filtration uh, gauge thing. I don't know what to call it. Um, I'll edit this, all right. I chose to go with them because of the air gauge that, that I chose to go with them because of the air gauge that shows the throughput through the system and will uh, tell you whether or not the filter is beginning to be clogged or not. <clears throat>